Good afternoon. I'm Katie Collette with your Wavy TV 10 headlines. For the second day in a row, Lakeland High School in Suffolk was evacuated of all students and staff because of reports of a bomb threat. School officials were notified about the incident around 9:20 this morning. The incident remains ongoing. This news comes after a student was charged in connection to a bomb threat at the school yesterday. Officials say the school received the threat around 11 yesterday morning and evacuated the building. Now, you'll remember Lakeland was in the news last week after several students got involved in a fight during lunchtime. Yesterday's threat was unfounded and students returned to class. Again, this morning's bomb threat remains under investigation. In Newport News, a person is dead after a fire broke out this morning on Waltham Lane in the Richneck area of the city. Firefighters were dispatched for a carbon monoxide alarm just after four. Officials say when they entered the town home, they found a fire on the first floor and pulled one victim from inside. That person died at the scene. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, and the victim's identity is being withheld until next of kin is notified. Early this morning, there was a large police presence in Norfolk's Calvert Square neighborhood. Officials tell us officers were at the intersection of Wide Street and Bagnall Road around 12:30 for a domestic incident. We are still working to learn what happened. At this time, we do know no one was hurt. We've reached out to a police department spokesperson to get more information. Portsmouth police say a woman was shot on Pulaski Street and Windsor Avenue just before 2:30 this morning. Paramedics took her to the hospital. Investigators say she is fighting for life. Remember, you can find all of your headlines and your Super Doppler 10 forecast throughout the day on wavy.com. Have a great day, everyone.